I've been involved with CMDA since I was a medical student back in the 1970s. Uh, I was here at University of Tennessee and uh, one of the professors met with two or three of us, which was all there was of CMDA during those days. My whole life has been one in which God has been working in me to try to mold me into the person He wants me to be. And so throughout my life there have been various influences, various people, uh, various experiences that God has used in order to mold me uh, better into the person He wants me to be. CMDA has been one of those major influences. To be able to come together with other Christian doctors and to say, well, how do I do this? How do I be a Christian doctor? How did you do this experience? How do you witness to your patients? How do you handle the money issues? How do you build the poor? How do you take care of the dying? How do you do all that in the name of Jesus Christ? And to be able to come together with other doctors and to hear God's Spirit speak through the experiences of others to me has molded me in profound ways uh, such that um, I am much closer to being who Christ wanted me to be because of the community of Christian uh, physicians and dentists who have uh, influenced me uh, through Christian Medical and Dental Association. I believe our faith grows most when we are serving most. And CMDA has provided the pathways that I, as an individual doctor, would have had a great deal of difficulty finding. Uh, and CMDA has been able to provide those pathways for me. So at the heart, CMDA is, serving in CMDA is all about loving Jesus Christ, but serving Him in a way that He has found most effective to use me in this life. If CMDA was not here, I don't know that I could have made it for through my first couple years of med school. The CMDA small group, our Bible study group, was my family, was my love, was my support. I, I just don't think I could have done it without those girls. We shared everything together and I needed that the first couple years of med school and I think everybody needs that honestly and whether it's just a season of learning how to let other people care for you or how to care for them or learning about discipleship. All those things the CMDA group taught me and I feel like I am now on a platform that I can go forth and succeed in residency and succeed in those anxieties and those fears that I have based on the things that CMDA taught me. I have to go on mission trips for my spiritual health. It's what we do for the people in these countries physically is really a band-aid compared to what we're trying to do spiritually. One instance that stands out in my mind in particular was actually not a patient that, that I was seeing. Another dentist that was on the trip I had seen the mother, and he was sharing the gospel with her. She had two children, two small children, that were sitting beside her. The little boy had been seen by a dentist, and he had his little bag with a toothbrush and, and toothpaste, but the little girl was just sitting there. She had not been seen by anyone. So while my friend was sharing the gospel, I just went and got the little girl, you know, a toothbrush and toothpaste and a toy that came in a bag that we would, we would give to the patients. And so I handed it to her and, you know, hugged her and then went on about my business to, to clean my area and see the next patient. And she came up behind me and tugged on my shirt and just, you know, had speaking in Spanish, of course. And I just hugged her and kind of sent her, you know, back over to wait on her mom. A few minutes later, she came and tugged and it was just a little bit louder, you know, saying the same things. But I didn't have a translator with me at the time. So she went back and a few minutes later, she came and tugged again. And, the, and I, I finally found a translator, and I said, what is she saying to me? So he communicated with her, and he turned to me, and he said, she wants to know if this is hers to keep. You know, I mean, she, she just wanted to say, thank you. So I found out later by speaking with my friend 
that the mother had not heard the gospel before. And even though she had dental needs, she had come to the clinic because she and her two children had been sleeping on the street and they wanted a mattress. And so this little girl who had been sleeping on the street, who had nothing, instead of just grabbing what I gave her, you know, and running off, she wanted to make sure that it was hers to keep and was just so appreciative to have a toothbrush and a toothpaste. So if that tells you the mindset, the difference between the patients we see here and the patients there, I mean, it, 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 that's part of why it's so overwhelming. I spent the summer uh, working alongside Dr. Michael Farmer. Uh, he is a radiation oncologist and involved with CMDA. It was the most impacting summer I, I've had in my lifetime, I would say. I had never really seen a doctor live out his faith in, in that way. And it was just an incredible model for me to have. And, you know, we spent day, day after day in the clinic and in the hospital, constantly studying the Bible with every spare second that we had in prayer, sharing the gospel with patients, praying with patients. It was just an incredible example of a man that was a Christian first and foremost uh, and a doctor second. Just very encouraging and eye-opening for what I have the potential to be able to do in my practice um, when I am a physician and now in day-to-day -day life. You know, Paul talks about when, when he was a child, he talked like a child, thought like a child, reasoned like a child. And I think, you know, I still have hundreds of childish ways in my walk, but I think CMDA has allowed me to grow more in this year and a half since I've been in Memphis than I ever have in my life. I was invited by a friend to uh, participate in CMDA and fell in love with uh, Ken and the ministry and the students. I try to follow the Lord according to his strategies. So because I'm a doctor, I've invested spiritually in a handful of the medical students at University of Tennessee, training them for world impact. And I believe that through them that the Lord will change the world. The problem with medical training is that there are bad examples of how not to be a doctor everywhere. And what students need, they can't become what they haven't beheld. They need to see what it means to be a Christian doctor, what it means to follow Christ in the office, how to win their patients to Christ, how to witness to their coworkers, and how to share the gospel with other colleagues, other physicians. This is the most critical need that the CMDA has would be dozens of mature Christian doctors, dentists, medical personnel to come alongside and mentor students. The students are hungry, they're just so desirous of a mature Christian to help them learn what it means to follow Christ in the workplace, learn what it means to have balance with a medical practice or a busy dental practice. These things are absolutely critical to training up the next generation. Well, the first thing we do is we model for them how to share your faith with a patient without offending them at all. Maybe the first thing I'll do with a medical student is begin to pray with patients and let them see that over and over and over. And then I'll ask them to, to initiate praying with patients and let them do that over and over and over until they get comfortable with it. And once people see that people rarely turn down the offer of prayer, whether you're a believer or an unbeliever, you can become very familiar talking about spiritual things with patients and very bold. If you ask me what comes first, am I a physician who is a Christian, who incidentally happens to be a Christian, or am I a Christian who is incidentally a physician? I would say the goal of my practice is to be a Christian who is incidentally also a physician. We are Christ's ambassadors. This is the ministry that we support at the highest level my wife and I. Why do we do that? Because it is a ministry that is impacting the whole world and measures up to the standard 
of your New Testament.